Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshana and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you our bedtime routine with a newborn and a toddler. So my husband BJ is going to be working with Nova, our toddler who is one and a half years old, and I will be working with Aurora, our newborn, who's one month. This is what our nights look like now that we have fallen into some sort of regular routine since I gave birth in May. It is a lot because they are both at stages where they need us so much in different ways. But I'm so happy to have a partner in this and I'm so happy to share this routine with you all. Our bedtime routine begins after Nova has finished dinner, which is about 6.30 p.m. on a bath night, like tonight. Otherwise, we take her up around 6.50, 7 o'clock to ensure she's in bed at some point before 7.30. After dinner, we all head up as a family of four and begin the process of getting the girls ready for bath time. My husband and I will decide at some point earlier in the day who will put which kiddo down at bedtime so there's no confusion when it's go time. Nova and Dad head into the bathroom to start the water, let Nova play, and enjoy her bath. She absolutely loves bath time. Meanwhile, I have Aurora in her bassinet while I run her bath water in our bathroom. While the water is running, I make sure to set everything out on the bed that I will need after the bath so the process runs as smoothly as possible and so that I can get Aurora nice and warm quickly. Once Nova is all nice and clean, it's time to get her all lotioned up and into her pajamas. It was a super hot day and night actually where we live, so Nova wore a sleep dress. Once all done, they go back into the bathroom to moisturize Nova's hair and brush her teeth. One of the reasons we do not give baths every night is just to ensure that we don't dry out their hair or their skin. We want to impart and retain as much moisture as possible. Recently, it has been a struggle brushing Nova's teeth in the morning and at night, likely because her molars on the top and bottom are making their appearance, so we try to make the experience more fun by involving her as much as possible. During bath time with Aurora, I do wash her hair with dye-free, fragrance-free, and paraben-free wash. And I use the Frida Baby hairbrush system to work through her scalp, being very mindful of her soft spot. When I'm all done with Aurora's bath, I will bring her back into our room and work with her on our bed. She gets lotioned up as well. her daily vitamin D drops since I'm exclusively breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. 
and coconut oil on her face and hair to, again, impart and retain that moisture. Once Nova and Dad are all done in the bathroom, they head back to her room for a book and snuggles before lights out. Right before story time, we will have Nova say goodnight to the other parent, and I was already in the room, so we did it here in the same place. Dad puts on Nova's satin bonnet for bedtime, reads a book, says prayers, and give kisses before placing Nova in her crib and saying goodnight. We make the room as dark as possible, turn on her hatch sound machine, and close her door. Nova will sleep through the night. If she does wake up though, it's usually related to her teething or her misplacing her pacifier. It's pretty rare though. By this time, Aurora is ready for bed as well. I place her in her love to dream swaddle Read her a book so she can hear my voice and hear new words. I did feed her a bottle of my breast milk this night, but usually I will breastfeed her directly. BJ warmed up a bottle and there's a two hour limit, so a bottle it is. When she was done with the bottle and a bit drowsy, but awake, I placed her in her bassinet to sleep. Aurora will sleep from now until about midnight or a little bit later before waking up to feed again. Phew. Our goal is to get both girls in bed sleeping by 7.30. But it's now 8 p.m. and both girls are finally asleep. Normally we are done before 8, but because this night we were filming, things just took a little bit longer. I head back downstairs where my husband is getting things ready for our dinner. We share a kiss and a high five. We did it. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. This day that we filmed this video was super rough. So it is definitely a wine night. BJ and I will eat our dinner and relax, maybe work on something, just something for ourselves to do. I might edit, but I for sure will pump. Uh, and then at about 10 o'clock, we are gonna head upstairs to go to bed ourselves to prepare for another day with two under two. That's it for our bedtime routine with a newborn and toddler. Thanks so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my very next video. And as always, remember to fill your cup. Bye.